Hey guys, welcome to Life Out on a Limb. Thanks for joining me here on my channel today. I'm really excited that you're here. I'm going to be spilling the beans about my cameo on Provo's Most Eligible. Before I jump into that though, I just want to remind you guys that if you like this channel, if you want to follow along with me and my family's adventures, make sure to subscribe and also like this video if you like Provo's Most Eligible. Um, and who doesn't at this point? Like, I think we're all sucked in. Okay, so how this whole thing came up for me to be on Provo's Most Eligible was just really funny because... That is not my vibe at all. I was actually visiting um, with my husband's family in Utah at the same time that Lauren was filming Provo's Most Eligible. And we had kind of joked about me going on and I don't know, like doing something with the guys, but it was kind of a joke until one day when Lauren called me and was like, hey, I want you to come and be on the show. And so we kind of made a girl's day of it. And the whole time we were laughing and joking about like what I would actually say or do. Um, and actually I remember from that day, it was really funny because I was in like jeans and like my normal get up. And she's like, it's a really formal place. Like you need to wear a dress. And I was like, well, I don't have a dress. So, um, she said, oh, it's cool. Like, just borrow this dress. And I was like, well, whose dress is this? And she said, oh, it's my roommate. She's chill. So like, shout out to Lauren's roommate who let me borrow her dress. Like, that was really nice because we didn't even really ask you. So then we get to the golf club, the country club, where they were filming Provo's Most Eligible. And Lauren didn't want her guys to see me. So even though I walked in with her, like, I just kind of like hung back and like nobody really asked who I was because literally there's just people everywhere like there's cameras everywhere there's people like interviewing like it was bizarre it was so bizarre right when we walk in and I'm kind of like hiding from Lauren's guys Lauren sweeps me into this elevator to go upstairs because she had to change and Remy hopped into the elevator right along with us and <laughs> he's kind of like oh who are you and Lauren told me like who I was and everything and he's like oh so are you single no I have two kids I've been married for seven years like the only dates that I go on are play dates okay just a quick edit to that he was asking because he literally said Oh, that's too bad because you could have been a bachelorette for next season. I'm sure you're a great person, Remy, but that was awkward. Then we got upstairs. I got to meet Ellie. She was super cute, seemed really sweet. We had some like joking laughs, I don't know, with some of the crew that was up there. Um, and then we like went downstairs and Lauren kind of like sat me on this bench and was like, okay, wait until I'm ready for you and then come out. So... As I was sitting there, this is how I was feeling. Oh my goodness, I'm here right now filming the Provost Most Eligible. I'm supposed to be meeting Lauren States, and this is like totally not my scene. I'm feeling super awkward right now. Um, but fun and excited. Sorry, because I realized that the sound quality wasn't the best on that clip, but it was because I really like, I had to be so quiet and I didn't want anybody to know who I was before we were able to catch that reaction on camera. So I was like talking so quiet because I just was trying to hide. Okay, so then um, I'm just sitting around waiting to talk to Lauren's guys, kind of for her to like give me the... So I'm watching her talking to these guys outside on a bench which was awkward like just watching that um not that she's awkward or like the guys were awkward it was just like awkward I'm just awkward I'm just an awkward person um so I wait my five minutes I go outside and Lauren like says this thing like as I'm walking up from behind like hey I have this surprise for you 
and oh my gosh it was so funny to see the guys reactions well, jake actually seemed like pretty stiff like he went a little bit rigid i think i don't know if he was intimidated or surprised or nervous like i don't know what it was but um he seemed not quite as like his goofy self and I had been hearing about like all these guys as the show was going on and so I knew he was really goofy like he has a fanny pack um but like, <laughs> he just kind of seemed like anyways we talked just really really briefly like I think our conversation was less than two minutes long and I just decided to like go all out. I was asking him questions um, about like, what are your intentions with my sister? And I was half joking, but like half serious because it's my little sister, like don't break her heart. Plus, you know, having like Lauren having been through a divorce and stuff, like I'm picky this time. Like whoever marries my sister better be like the real deal. So anyways, it was just funny to like talk with him and see his responses to these questions or whatever. Austin was like a totally different story, actually. Um, I don't know if he just like, that's just his personality or if he was feeling more relaxed. I don't know what it was, but he was totally just like chill. Like actually, I felt like me and Austin's conversation like was a little smoother and less awkward than me and Jake's conversation. So I actually ended up talking to Austin quite a bit after our on-camera segment and we laughed and joked a lot. Um, and it wasn't until later when Lauren was off doing something else, I was kind of waiting for her to, to come so I could leave. And then me and Jake got to talk a little bit more too. So they were totally seemed like nice guys. Um, but again, I'm protective of my sister. So I had to, I had to gauge it. I was like kind of on a mission for the family to be like, are either of these guys legit? So yeah, like I was, I was watching like a hawk to see like how they were acting with everybody. So as I was waiting for Lauren, there was like a bunch of the guys from the show and they were super funny. Um, they were all talking to me and um, it was cool. I think I met Mikey and um, Josue and Jake was there and I think Walker, maybe a couple of the other guys. I don't know. Um, they all seemed funny and it's been really funny watching the show and seeing how they actually are or like I guess how they actually are on the show compared to like my first impressions of them. Um, totally different. So then after I'm like talking with all the guys a little bit, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to get back on my train. I'm going to miss it. So I run upstairs to go get my stuff, which I had left in the dressing room. And that happened to be where B was doing her interviews with her guys. So I walk up, the door is open. I see a camera there and B and and Daniel. I didn't know who it was at the time, but it was B and Daniel. And um, <laughs> this was so awkward. So I didn't want to be rude. I didn't want to like walk in while they were filming and mess up their footage. So I was just kind of like hanging back, but like watching the time because I was running late. And um, I just like was like listening to what was going on. And it was when Daniel was telling me his bathroom story and having not met B and having not met Daniel, like not knowing anything about either one of them. I was like, why would you be talking about this with a girl that you're dating? Like what the heck? I was like, so like appalled. Now having watched the show, I, I understand Dan is just funny and they just are friends. <laughs> dating 101 like never do that um so anyways I'm like standing out there mortified and I was like oh my gosh like I've got to watch this show this is going to be so funny we grab our stuff I get going and I totally missed my trains that was a bust so my thoughts at this point in the show Lauren has 
Jake and Austin left on her team. Having watched the show, I see how my first impressions of Austin and Jake were like a little bit off. I think Austin matched up with his, my first impression of him pretty well. Um, Jake, Jake, I don't really know. Honestly, knowing my sister, I don't know if I would have pegged her with any of those guys. I can't give my prediction <laughs> of what I think is going to happen because I already know what happens. Um, but it's been a good show. I want to hear all of your predictions and what you have thought about this season. So make sure to comment below and I'll respond to those and can't wait to see what you guys say.